I'm Bridget Carey, and I've been glassed. This is your CNET Update. If you've been wondering what Google Glass is all about and how it works, well, that's exactly what I'll help you understand in this special edition of CNET Update. I'm wearing an early model of the Google Glass. It's basically a wearable screen that is controlled with voice activation and touch, and it can do some cool things like take photos, search on Google, send text messages, and give you directions. As an explorer, I had to pay $1,500 to get one, but it's not for consumers to purchase yet. Rather, this is more like a massive test exploring how we interact with this type of device, and developers in the meantime are cooking up some apps that work with it. It might be another year until anyone can buy one. The first thing people want to know is what does the screen look like? This is just really a tiny floating screen. If you hold your cell phone about an arm's length away from you, that's about the size it appears to be. I have nothing obstructing my vision. I have to look up and to the right when I want to see the screen. It's clear right now because it's in sleep mode. I can wake it up one of two ways. I can tilt my head up slightly or I can tap the side panel. This is a touch panel that you use to navigate through by swiping and tapping. Once it's awake, I can say, OK, glass. And from here, I have the option to speak a command. Or I can tap to select it with the touchpad. You're really just swiping through different cards of information, like weather, message notifications, or photos you've taken. The most basic use is to use it as a hands-free camera. If I don't want to walk around yelling, OK, glass, take a picture, OK, glass, take a picture, well, there's a handy shutter button that takes an instant snapshot of what's in front of me. There's no time to say cheese and pose and see a preview. It's just instantly taken as soon as I hit this button. Let me show you video. OK, Glass, record a video. By default, a video only is captured for 10 seconds unless I tap to make it go longer, and then it'll record until it runs out of battery or until I tell it to stop. Say hi to our producer, Mark. There's no big red light telling you that I'm recording. You just know it's awake because you can see the light of my screen. People could be jerks and record you without you being totally aware, but they could also record you secretly with a smartphone. It's fun to joke that this makes us more like cyborgs, but with smartphones in our pockets and in our hands all the time, we already were assimilated and attached to a screen. This time, you just don't have to hold it in your hand, but you also have to look odd wearing one. We'll be bringing you continuing coverage of Glass as we learn to live with this new device and explore the apps being created for it, because that's where things will really get interesting. Be sure to visit CNET.com for an in-depth first look at all the Glass features. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.